We have just had the most unbelievable morning here at Al Shahaniya Stud. I can't even put into words how amazing it was. So instead of putting it into words, I want to show you what we've been up to. And I even managed to have a ride too. I'm Dean Levy. I'm the manager of El Shahania Stud here in Doha, Qatar. And we're going to take you around the farm and give you a little tour this morning. The full property is around 300 hectares, but it does include, you know, obviously His Highness's palace. But we've got about 100 hectares in horse area here and we're a full breeding racing operation. Our horses travel from the farm to the racetrack every day, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturdays every week. So it's a, and it's a six month schedule for the racing. So there's a lot of races. Mum's gonna want to see this. <laughs> I have to say, this is insane. Yeah, it's hotel. like a five-star hotel, six-star yeah, hotel. Is. But if you do want to be competitive, you know, you need to make the horse uh, really comfortable and happy to, to, to be here, you know? Yeah. What's it like training somewhere like this? Ah, it's beautiful. This, uh, I've been here for four years. I was an uh, assistant before, so I know the place really well. Yeah. But it's a, it's a pleasure to come every morning uh, yeah, and train horses and, and train quality, you know. And you've trained thoroughbreds and Arabian horses? Yeah, but we are more like uh, into Arab horses. They're way smarter, you know, they're, they're, they're more clever. Does that make them harder sometimes? <laughs> they know it makes them doing. harder to train because they, they have the trick, you know, they, they, they are special. Yeah. So I'm on the outside. Okay. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah. I feel a little emotional about what I've just seen and done. Wow. That was unbelievable, amazing. And when we came around that bend and the sunrise was on, just, yeah, I don't think really words can describe that feeling just then. I, I don't know if you could see, but the smile on my face was something else. Going around that track was unreal, but more to the point, the stud and this whole facility, I've just walked around the whole thing and it's like a spa. These guys, every other day, spend a full night outside, uh, except in the summer, and then even in the summer, they get to spend the night outside. So, you know, we, we hope it creates a fresher environment for the horses, because it, it means a lot from someone coming outside that is experienced riding around. Europe and other places to, to, to see that with our horses because that's what we want. I will not say I'm the man who runs the show. I, I'm the I'm the one who got the name on the program, but behind that it's, uh, it's a lot of people who, who take care of, of the farm and take care of me without working with them, but they, they, they help me around, you know, to, 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 to get the best out of uh, the horses and the best out of uh, Al Shania. We try to stay very close from the natural life, you know, yeah. to, to, because uh, I don't enjoy staying in my house. I'm sure they don't enjoy too, so, so that's why we, we try our best. do nothing else the rest of the week. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm done, it's my job done. You've got the brood mares ready to fold in each little paddock and it's just like one second you're on the road, the next second you're in this sort of like jungle vibe with the birds and the sun and 
yeah, it's um, it's really quite special actually. We're very, very lucky here. A lot of the property that has the most wealth or the most use is properties that have water in the desert. And we have 21 wells. All the irrigation and the stabling and this stuff is, is well water. It's a lot to maintain grass here and keep it maintained, but it's very important for the horses here. That's, that's why I think we're maybe better than everybody else. We've got a mix of grass paddocks, sand paddocks. We've developed our own veterinary clinic here, so we're really self-sustained. How lucky are we? That was unreal with the sunrise and, oh, amazing. I mean, who has a fountain and a yard, for goodness sake? Um, it's been amazing. And all I can really say is if I, if I sadly go and have to come back as a horse, I'm coming back here. I'm gonna live here, amazing.